do it. Hey guys, this is Versatile from Project Phoenix Media. I wanted to do a interesting video today, which is just an overview of the Tony Hawk's exploit working on my PlayStation 1. So we're gonna be using Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2. I recently got a copy of this game, so I'm very excited to showcase this and it works great. So with my memory card, how did I get the save game exploit onto my PS1 memory card? I used my modded PS2, Fat or Slim, U Launch Elf, got the save game file from the GitHub and transferred it over to PS1 memory card. If you're interested in how to do that in more detail, let me know, I could easily make a follow-up video tutorial. So today's video is more of an overview, not so much as a tutorial uh, per se. So really I got my Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2 game is loading. And once you get to the main screen, it's gonna be um, at the bottom, there's a message saying that it's scanning the PS1 memory card. And in a second here, you'll see that it has detected Tony Hacks US. There you go. So now what you do next is you go to create a skater or create skater is what it's called. And then it's going to load the exploit. From there, you can go ahead and swap out the game with any copy game of your choice. In today's example, I'm using a copy of Twisted Metal 3 because that's what I just happen to have around. And the PlayStation 1 will just load it just like any other regular game and you're good to go. So for users who don't have a mod chip in their PlayStation 1, this might be a very good solution, right? But the downside is how are you going to get Tony Hacks on your memory card if you don't have a modded PS2 in the first place, right? So there are people online on eBay that sells these memory cards. I also have some for sale from time to time. So if you're interested, let me know. I might have something in my stock to help you out as well. Anyways, um, if you don't want to use the pop starter method and you have a PlayStation 2, for example, then going back to the old school PlayStation 1 might be the way to go, right? And I understand that this works great for all games um, in terms of looting, uh, loading the backup games, I mean. And then also audio should work great as well. If you go to the GitHub, you can always see the latest development of the Tony Hacks and what games are supported. Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2 is just one out of, for example, 10 games, right? Now I'm sure the games list will get longer and longer as time goes on, basically. So that's today's quick overview of Tony Hacks on my PlayStation 1. If you guys have any nitpicky questions, leave a comment here on the YouTube page. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.